Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Aloft. So we're going to continue in our world. A whole new world. And here we are on our lovely island. So if you didn't watch the first video, basically this is a survival game, but a little bit different. It's sort of set in an avatar style world where all the islands are floating. Like look down there, there's islands. There's a load of islands down there. Um, and this is my island that I've turned into a base. I literally cut down a few trees and banged some rocks together and I made this which makes the island float with crazy engineering technology. We've got sails here, we've got the old steering wheel. Helm is the technical term. Um, and up over that way there's like there's a huge tornado hurricane thing. Um, oh god I just fell off. I just fell off. Thankfully if I press spacebar we can glide so that I can... Huh, land on my base. So yeah, today we're going to be continuing from where we went last time. And if we get sort of near the end, this is only a pre-alpha demo, by the way. But if we get sort of near the end, we're going to be flying into the storm and seeing what's over there, basically. But for now, let's man the helm and let's check out our island. Oh, I forgot I stuck a bridge on the side. So I tried to bridge to something below me. If we if we just drop down. So you can see that is our altitude meter. It's, it's going down quite rapidly. We are literally a falling piece of rock now. Yeah, but last time I wanted to see how high we could go, and that was two and a half thousand meters. So let's keep dropping down. Let's get back with the game. Oh man, we go so fast when we're going with the wind. What are we on? A hundred knots. Um, I want to head over to that island though. Look at that. That looks all mystical. Now I have a feeling this one might be covered in mushroom people. Oh well, slow down, slow down. Bloody. <laughs> Blew it out. All right, I'll tell you what I can do. I can use my bridge to uh, make a sort of plank so I can... I can just hop over down a little bit. It's like a landing board. All right, so that looks good. So now we can board this place. Yeah, and I'm going to get out my sword. I, I created this last time. I think it's out of bone and other things. Because basically this island has been infected with the weird mushroom people. So I've got to destroy like these mushrooms. Destroy these mushroom people as well. And you might notice there's no game sounds. Very, very annoying. Not annoying for me. Not annoying for you, the listener. But annoying for my editor who's going to put weird sounds in for everything that I hit. So let's go around and hit everything once and see the different noises that it makes. So yellow mushrooms, what noise do they make? Ooh, that was weird. <laughs> what about a big purple mushroom? That's going to make a weird noise. Oh, that was that was very strange. Oh, looks like there's some coral here. What does that mean? Oh, oh, I've never heard that sound in my life. <laughs> Next up, we've got this massive chode thing. So we've actually, we need to destroy this. So I'm going to have to hit this one a few times. So we'll, oh, oh, that was a, that was a very weird sound. But we'll keep hitting this until they're down. And then we've summoned three enemies. And oh, <laughs> I'm loving the sound that they're making. Aren't you, editor? I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. Aren't you, editor? <laughs> Right, and now we've destroyed that. There's a little bit of fruit there. The fruit is gone. We've collected some fungi fibers, you can see over there. That is a resource that we can use to make rope, which is very useful. Um, but also destroying these big chodes. I'm sorry, nodes. They're definitely called nodes, according to the game. Uh, once they're all gone, the, the island will be replenished. So I'm just going to go around and boost everything. All right, let's just power through this coral. Oh, the sound of infinite coral being destroyed it's hideous and all these purple ones as well i say so i will help you out editor with the sounds I will, I will add some of my own so we've got boosh we've got floosh and when we've got loads of mushrooms we've got floosh boosh 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 floosh boosh boosh floosh <laughs> all right we'll say this bone sword is bloody strong like the old mushroom people like this guy boosh boosh hit him twice and he's dead all right we've got the egg thing so that is the final node i think oh yes it is there you go we've cleansed the forest and that means everything on the island we can now gather so we can take branches off of trees we can pick up bones we can mine big old boulders to get stone out of them and we can even chop down trees but if we head up this way this is why we're sort of exploring everywhere because there's these rocks and if we hold e to learn we've learned the square leaf sail so if we go into my building menu, we've got the new sail there. And you can see what we need for that. We need some planks, we need some rope, and we need some matting stuff. So nice, we can potentially add those onto our base. Oh, look, there's another one down there as well. There's another one down here. So what else are we going to learn? We've learned the leaf gaff sail. So that's a poor quality sail that has average attributes. The triangle ones I'm using has low cost and low durability. And the square one has excellent wind take and low flexibility okay so i'm guessing they've all got different properties 
Uh, which is good to know, but I think I'm going to need I'm gonna need some resources. So I'm going to chop up these logs, chop some more trees down. Thankfully, these do have in-game sounds, so my editor will be very happy about that. But yeah, let's get deforesting. I don't want any tree left on this island. I just want wood. Oh no, look, I'm exhausted. I've been chopping too much wood. So let's just head back along our bridge. If I can I... Yes, I can get on it. Because over here, I have a bed so I can rest. So into bed with a lovely, lovely view. And then we rise up in the morning and we're ready to do some more chopping. Now you might be asking yourself, Matt, why, why are you cutting down so many trees? Surely you don't need that many resources, do you? Well, yes, I do. Because I want power. I want speed. I want my island to be the best island that ever islanded. All right, so I've pretty much chopped down every tree on this island. So we've just got loads and loads of logs on the floor. And for every log we pick up, we get leaves and we get wood. So basically, I can just run around looking at the floor, just chopping. And <laughs> look at the numbers going up. We've got so much wood. Anyway, hopefully after all this, I shouldn't ever have to worry about getting wood again until I get old. Yeah, but yeah, oh man, there's so many. The noise is so crunchy. It's oh, so satisfying. Oh man, I'm up to 500 wood. Yes, we hit 500, although I'm now wet and exhausted, apparently. But yeah, these little bushes, I can just gather them. And they actually, they add to my combo as well. Oh, I could, I could get to a thousand if there's still, there are still logs dotted about. Anyway, that is the island basically deforested. Very nice to see. Let's get back on my island because it is wet. I am tired. Uh, it's probably worth building like a little house over my over my bed so I have somewhere dry to sleep. That would make sense. So we've built the frames. You've just got to boost them with our old hammer. And then that fills it in. So there's the roof. There's that bit done. So that might keep us dry, maybe. <laughs> I feel like I need I need I need a door to get into it. But I haven't unlocked any doors yet. Right, let's chop this tree down. That tree is actually in the way. Timber. Oh no, it's going off the edge. I won't get the wood. I won't get the wood. Oh, I might get a little bit of wood, but mainly it's gone. Right, so now I'm going to make my, my thing a bit faster, hopefully using this bridge structure, because what I plan to do is make a few of these square sails, because I think they're going to be pretty good. Excellent wind take. Sounds encouraging. But first, I need planks, rope, and the fabric. So over here in the sawmill, I can add... Oh my god, look how much wood I've got. I can add a load of those into there. I can then... Press E and there's a little mini game up the top. I've just got to click every time and that makes a plank for me. Anyway, we've got 100 planks. So let's leave that doing that. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, can I power this? So it does it automatically. Hang on. Didn't I unlock? I think I unlocked a windmill somewhere. Oh, look at these. Leaf windmill. Align with wind to power machines. Okay, so I've got the leaf windmill. What way is the wind going? I saw the wind going a certain direction. So if I put that up there... Then, oh, look, I can set the height on this. Let's go, let's go to the top. <laughs> That's so unnecessarily tall. Well, I can change, I can change how big the blades are. Why would I, why would I have small blades when I can, uh... oh, 16 bits of fabric, two bits of fabric. Okay, I can't afford to do any of that until we make some fabric in the workbench. So crafting resources, you have your resources here. You have the known recipes here and to get more recipes, can you see this like question marks? That means you need to combine different things in order to unlock them. So if we combine some of these, we'll find new recipes. Now, I don't I don't need to bother that yet. I want to build this first. So the cloth, we just need two bits of leaf. So basically, we can just hold down craft and we make more and more the longer we hold it down. So we're burning through our leaves, but we're making lots and lots of cloth, which means now we can rebuild our windmill at the highest height with the biggest blades. And now that will be making power or at least movement. And I think I can connect that. So press E to link. Now around the back of this windmill, look at that going mental. So we can attach that to there. And now that's making planks without us having to do anything. Oh, that's really cool. I really, really like that. So next up, time to build the sails. All right, we want to make sure this is aligned with the front of our ships. Can you see the arrow on the bottom? That's got to be facing the front. So we'll shove that like there-ish. We'll make it tall. We'll make the sail really, really big. Shove another one over here. I do not have all the results. Oh, I need some rope. So remember those mushroom people I killed earlier? I can I can make rope using the two bits of fungi fiber. So let's just turn all of that into rope and then build another sail, a big boy. Nice. Okay, then on to the next island, I guess. We'll get on the helm. Let's go up a little bit. So we're out the way. And then when we go forward now, oh, look at the speed. Oh, my goodness. 180, 190 knots. Look how fast that island's going past. It didn't even load. Okay, so let's head back to the island that we nearly missed. 
Oh, oh, I thought I thought I could... I thought it had a handbrake. It doesn't have a handbrake. Everything's moving still. We don't want to lose my island. All right, there we go. So we should be able to jump over there. Uh, oh, a Bermuda sail. Not the most interesting thing in the world. I've I sort of... I want the next tier of sail. I'm only on the poor tier. Uh, but also on this island, there's... Yes, there's some bones dotted about. Now, bones, they're like my rarest resource at the moment. So I'm trying to find as many of those as possible. It's nice. We've got a few more down here. And whilst I'm here, I'll probably do a little bit of mining because I haven't actually mined too much stone. I should probably gather all those just to make sure we can build... Oh my goodness. Do you see that over there? It's like a shining light. Well, now I'm intrigued. I'm like a magpie. I want to head over there. All right, we're going to head over that way. So over this island and then straight ahead. Oh, and it's an island I've already been to. I've already been here. What about this one up here? Have I been up here? No, I missed this one. So what's, what's in this rock? A leaf junk set. That looks huge. Excellent durability and a high cost. Is it bigger than my current sails though? I'm going to shove it in the middle but at the back so it doesn't clash too much. I don't know. I'll build a few of them and we'll see how they perform. So, oh goodness, there's so much speed. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> oh, i got to be careful when the wind creeps up behind me. It's a little bit scary. Ah oh, yes, that's an island I've definitely been to before. <laughs> You can tell because it's completely deforested. Although somehow I I missed one tree apparently. Anyway, I'm pretty sure over here was the glowing island, which has actually stopped glowing annoyingly. Oh look, I've been here. I've been it. That's my first ever house down there. All right, the game tricked me. It took me back to the beginning. Anyway, at least going this direction. Look at the speed we have. 190 knots. Oh my goodness, there's an island. There's an island. <laughs> Ow. Right, now I see the one in the sky. We are definitely heading up there. I think that's the one I was trying to get to earlier, but I lost it. Not today. We are heading up there. The altitude, we are raising altitude. It's bloody high, though. How high is that? Right, we're getting close. We're getting close. We're 2,000 meters in the air right now. And we're just, we're just beneath it. We're just rising up towards it. All right, so here we go. Let's equip our sword and let's head along our plank. And oh, look, there's already blooming mushroom people waiting for me. Die. All right, we got to destroy some chodes. So eat some of that, mate. Man, this bone sword is awesome. There's another chode over here. Destroy that thing. And then a final chode. Oh, the noise of that is just... <laughs> Isn't it, editor? Isn't it? <laughs> and then a few more little mushroom people to destroy. That to destroy. Boosh. And then I'm going to fly my way up to the top because this one's on sort of a mountainy type thing. And you can see that's where the final chode is. So let's destroy this in a big way. Boosh, boosh, boosh. And it's cleansed. Uh, but the mushroom people, they still remain. So you do need to kill them. Die. Right, nice. Now this island is nice and green. Well, we can loot it, basically. So let's have a look around and try and find... Oh, there it is. Oh, no, there's mushroom man in the way, though. Boosh, boosh. There's another one up there just looking down at me. Still, I'm going to learn in front of him. That will show him. So, ah, he, he, you interrupted my learning experience. Ow, and you. What are you doing? Oh, now I don't know what I learned. Oh, there's actually, there's no recipes. Did I, did I actually not learn anything? Did you ruin my learning? Bloody mushroom people, man. They're worse than architects. All right, so there's another one here. I'm going to kill this mushroom man first. Make sure the coast is clear before I try and learn anything. And hopefully this time I do actually learn something. No, I haven't. Oh, maybe. Is that the end of the demo? I feel like because I'm not learning any new recipes, that might be the end. We might have learned everything there is to learn. Well, I guess there's only two things left to do. One, deforest my island to make some space. Two, work out what the final bit of resource is. So if we make a sharp bone first. So that's a sharp rock and two bones. So we'll craft one of them. And then we can mix that with wood bone and rope to make a bone pickaxe. So we'll craft that. Oh, there's still more recipes to be made. A bone hammer, but I need one more bone. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, next I want to build a load more platforms out this side. Give them a boost with my hammer to actually turn them into a floor. Build some more giant sails, which of course requires making a lot of cloth. I mean a lot of cloth. My, my finger hurts. 1,254 bits of cloth. Ah, but annoyingly, I can't make sails without rope. And rope is limited to the number of mushroom people. Oh, game, I can't believe you wasted my time like that. Not even my super strong looking house can cheer me up. I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna build the only way I know how. Yep, we're building up. And then we're gonna take this ship into the eye of the storm. But yeah, this is actually going pretty high, fair play. Hang on, are there different types of steps? One. Do they go taller than 
Oh, there's different types of steps. I could be doing big steps the whole time. Okay, let's do let's do big steps. And a big steps uses forward. Does little steps use two? Okay, it's the same amount of wood, so it's fine. We'll keep going with the little steps. Because I know we couldn't actually fly any higher with our island. We're at two and a half thousand meters, which is pretty much as high as it can go. But it looks like we can keep going up with steps. Like if I turn around, we've we've gone quite a long way. Let's let's keep going. All right, I might have to stop for a second. Just I mean, oh look at that sunset. Look at the sunset and the storm. Actually, over there, are they, can you see like way over there? Are they two new islands? I haven't been to those. Anyway, I feel like we're getting pretty high now. It's getting like dark up here. I really feel like we're getting above the clouds as well. Yeah, and we're finally using up the last of our wood. We're down to just 70 bits of wood. Right, and there we go. That is as high as we can build for now. There's still more islands to deforest though. And there's definitely islands over there. I'm going to have to go check those out. Oh, look, there's loads, of, there's loads of things sparkling in the distance. I mean, last time, the spark over there, that was a trap. So do I want to head to those? I'm not sure. I think I'm definitely going to head over to those ones, though, just to go see what there is. I feel like this island's like an optical illusion. It's getting further and further away, and actually, it's getting really, really misty over here. Oh, no, look, we're definitely, we've definitely got there. I see two new islands. All right, let's slow down. Handbrake on. Oh, man, look at the wind. 433 knots. We've also got a weird wind bar up the top. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before, actually. Have we found a secret? I don't know. But let's jump off this. We'll head over this way. And we'll fly onto this island and see if there's anything good about it. There's some bones. We definitely want bones. Doesn't appear to be anything else. Oh, there are a lot of bones. There's a lot of bones. What if we head down here? Oh, look, another one of these. Anything to learn this time? No. Well, I know below me there is another island, so let's head down there. We'll head straight down, and oh no, I missed it, I missed it. Back up, back up. All right, so here we go. Whoa, onto this island. There's some more bones about. There's, there's a few trees on this one, but not a lot else. I'm just going to gather a few more bits of wood, and then I've got to head back up there. That is where our thing is, so we'll do the boost, because it is a long way up. All right, and we're back to our base. I'm sort of tempted to try and head into the hurricane. So if we head this direction... Oh my goodness, did you see the speed? Oh, so the wind really slowed up. We went 500 knots a second there. If we just head back to the edge of the map. Oh, look at the wind. 500 knots. I think the wind tries to keep you, like, in the map. Right, anyway, there's a new island down there. We'll go see if there's anything on that. And then if not, we're going to head straight into the eye of the storm. All right, we're coming in hot to this island. It looks a bit barren. Oh, no, there they go. There's the trees. There's the trees. Let's slow down. So anything good on this island? It's... Oh, hang on. That's a new symbol. Let's use my sickle. I've never... Oh, what is that? That's a new material. I've just unlocked a new material. <laughs> After all this time. I was wondering what the sickle was for because I just thought it was like early access. They hadn't made that yet. Oh, don't say I can make rope out of this. All right, so into our workbench. All right, it's just fungi fiber, so we can make more rope and we can make more sails. But not only that, look what I've just found in here. We've got a flax break. A contraption used to break plants and transform them into fiber. Okay, we've got to build that. So we'll plonk that there. We'll connect that over to the windmill. And then we can shove our flax in there, can we? And then if we just rotate this so the windmill is facing into the wind so there you go the windmill is spinning now and this is doing its thing and it's making us fiber so if we grab that fiber and go back to the workbench no we still can't craft with fiber interesting oh look we've just unlocked the spinner and the loom so the spinner makes rope from fibers and the loom makes fabric from fibers okay so basically they're an alternative to leaves and st oh man don't say they're not going to be better than the leaf ones, are they? So if I shove that there and the loom next to it, if I link that over to there and that over to there. So in here, I shove some fiber and that's making me rope. Okay, that's fine. And in the loom, if I add fiber, what is that going to make? Oh, linen. We've got a new material. This could be a better sail than my, my leaf sails. So if I press B to build, no, there's no sail using linen. I reckon because the devs haven't added it yet. Or maybe they have added it, but for some reason I can't 
I can't seem to learn any new things. I don't know if that's because the mushroom people interrupted my learning or whether that is just the end of the game. I don't know. Uh, if you do know, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll come back to this. But I think for now, we're just going to head, once I build a few more big sails, into the storm over there. Oh, no way. Well. Look, I've just pressed F for detailed mode. And it, it sort of shows you, like, as you go into the wind, it shows you what sails are getting the wind. And, oh, man, if they go green, they're really good. That's really cool. Fair play. But yeah, essentially, I'm going to try and head into the storm. Oh, what is that bar? What is that bar? It says, turbulent wave coming. Close your sails. Oh, look at the wind speed over here. Turbulent wind, close your sails. Right, wow. Looking behind me, there's like a huge wind wave that I've just passed through. And then straight ahead is the tornado. We're going to keep going forwards. You've reached the end of the demo. You can take the time to build a house, improve your navigation efficiency, and discover new islands. Oh, no, that's the end. I wanted to head into the hurricane. Anyway, I'm going to leave that going straight ahead. And then this is all still moving. You can see the sails are going. So I'm going to head up here because I'm determined to get into the storm. Yeah, never would have thought I'd build a staircase into a hurricane. But here we go. Man, this is insane. Look how cool this hurricane looks. <laughs> oh, it is amazing. There's like, there are clouds coming though. That's a bit of a shame. But over that direction, wicked. Oh man, it's got dark. I think I'm in the shadow yeah, I'm in the actual shadow of the hurricane. Oh, I've just got a bar saying there's turbulent wind coming. Where's where's the turbulent wind? Am I above it? It says close your sails. Dunno, keep going, little ship. We're getting closer. So the good news is, even though I'm up here, miles and miles away from my thing, we're still making forward progress. All right, and I've hit the top of the stair. Oh, look how many islands there are. There's so many islands to explore. Oh, I'm so excited. Sadly, it seems we're going to have to wait until the full game comes out to explore any further. But still, what an awesome little demo Aloft is. Super, super excited for this. And we've basically made it to the hurricane as well. Yet we've passed through the storm. Look at all the islands dotted about. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm I'm so excited to play the full version of this game. And if you're wondering what happens inside the hurricane, well, we're literally about to go in. Oh, it gets very, very dark. Oh, what is going to be on the inside? I don't know. I'm excited though. Right, well, inside the hurricane just appears to be more hurricane. I, I assume there is a middle. I'm not sure we'll ever get to it though. This has taken like an hour to get this far. <laughs> I've just been stood here watching it. One eternity later. Right, so we've been going for quite a while now. And we're like well and truly inside the hurricane. Like, look at this. It's like double walls. There's a ceiling. I feel like I'm like inside Jupiter or something. But yeah, you can see straight ahead. Well, sort of straight ahead. I think we're going that way. I want to go right a bit. But unfortunately, the steering wheel is all the way down there. And I don't really want to run down again. It took like 15 minutes to get up here. Yeah, those textures are so close I could touch them. They're surprisingly low low quality, actually. But uh, I'm guessing no one's really meant to go this close. Oh, God, we've got dust. We've got mist. Oh, what is that? What is that? I can't really see what it is. It's very misty in here. Is that just... Is that the center? Oh, God, I don't think anyone's meant to be in here. I'm not going to lie. I honestly feel like I'm experiencing things that no one's experienced before. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Is that the core? I think that's the core. Oh, here we go. The mist is gone. Whoa. <laughs> so there's another, there's another, like, another wall of, like, misty, windy stuff. I really want to go down and steer so I actually end up in the middle of that. Shall I go and do that? I think I might go and do that. Right, looking down, it looks like we're in the center. So if I look straight up. Oh, wow. <laughs> we're in the middle of the tornado of the hurricane. Oh man, quite excited to see what is going to be up here. Hopefully it just doesn't take me back to my base. There's the sun. We're up. We're up above the storm. <laughs> oh wow. Oh no, it's raining up here. It's raining. Well, right, let's keep flying up. Oh man, look how circular it is. This is cool. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I wasn't expecting this at all. Oh no, now I'm tired. Now I'm tired. I keep spinning. Either way, we are well above the tornado now. I don't think there's any point in going higher. I mean, the ground's just going to disappear. But yeah, in case you're wondering what was in the tornado, what was above it, now you know. But yeah, if you if you guys enjoy this, please boost the like button. Uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this, because I'm, I'm loving it. Anyway, guys, I'll say peace, love, and extreme hurricanes. Catch you guys next time. Bye!